Bubba Jenkins, he's victorious against the guy with the pink hair. Did that fight go just how you thought it would? Um, no, I wanted to hit him with a 3-2. I saw myself visioning myself hitting him and sitting him down a couple times, but he was a tough fighter. He came out with a lot of heart, a lot of pride, and I mean, he put his flag on his sleeves and he, and he fought with it. So, But we did get our hand raised. I, I didn't see it going 30-27. I thought I, in the rounds there were some close ones, but we got the dub every way we could. Think if his hair was purple, he did better? Ah, uh, yes. Or if it was lime green, I think I would have hit him a little bit more. But, you know, in there, we got it how we can get it. You know, we did get some twos off. No threes, but we're looking for it. Nice. I saw you hooting and hollering at Brendan over there in the fighter's lounge. Yeah. Say, woof, I'm yeah. coming to London. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah, man. Um, we all know that Brendan's a good fighter. And, and, you know, they completely want him to go to London because, the, you know, we see him all over the place. We see him on every mm -hmm. poster and every commercial. So I'm just letting them know, letting all the fighters know, letting anybody in the featherweight know that I'm coming. It ain't nothing but a bad man thing. So you, I'm sure you watched this fight since he fought before you. Yeah. What particular about his game do you think? Hey, that kind of stood out a little bit. I might have to watch out for that. Anything in particular? I'm a dog. He gonna run, so I'm gonna try to hunt him down in any way that I can. Even if I don't see him, I'm hunting anybody. Plain and simple. You heard it from the man victorious tonight. Check you guys out later. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, dude. No doubt, my man. Appreciate right. it.